One of the great things about the Federation and all the agencies on campus is that we have services, I like to say we have services for every life stage. We offer programming for infants, we offer preschool, we have a Jewish day school on our campus, we have before and after school programs for kids, we have camp programs, we have dance and sports programs. As you transition into adulthood, we have lecture series and we have concerts and we have all sorts of things that can meet your needs. We have people who come out here to use this space as a co-working space. And then as they transition into older age, we have additional enrichment programs and eventually the care of the Rose Blumkin Jewish Home. So when we say continuum of care, we don't necessarily just mean a very specific and concrete transition from independent living to skilled nursing. We mean that we care for you from birth to death. At every point of your life and everywhere in between, we are offering services and you're a part of our community. I can't think of an agency that our family hasn't touched through the Federation. Overseas program and Jewish Family Services. We took Love and Logic Parenting years oh, that's ago. Right. Kind of learned how to how to be parents when we had preschoolers and challenging Mm -hmm. behaviors when they wanted to exert their independence. Even if you're not a family that's taking part in scholarships or assistance for different things, you're receiving the benefits of our federation. Mm -hmm. My wife and I have 18-month-old twins. When it came time for us to enroll them at child care center, obviously there are options all over Omaha. We chose to send our girls to the ELC, not only because it has a, you know, a great reputation, which I think everybody knows, um, but because I had had the opportunity for years to see firsthand what they do down there. We offer something that almost nobody else really could offer. We have really engaged teachers who very clearly love our kids. When they send us pictures throughout the day of how things are going with the girls, there'll be pictures of them at the gym or at a splash pad or at the pool. We offer dance classes for kids. I mean, what they're able to do at the ELC is something that really, truly no one else can do. and we ground that in the fact that we know that they're being brought up with solid values and it is exactly what we would want in our own home. You really can't ask for anything more than that as a parent. At the beginning, my mother was very, very resistant. After a while, she came to understand that everybody was trying to help. So uh, she moved into the Rose Blumpkin home and that was quite a life changer. I, I never saw anybody roll their eyes or give a look like, a, really, again, nothing like that. They could get her to do things that I was unable to do. They, they had a way of, of working with people. I would say, look if they have a, a movie. You wanna go see a movie down the hall? It's, uh, no, I don't wanna see a movie. Uh, they're having a, a sing-along, you wanna do that? No, I don't wanna do it. The staff would come in, Sherry, there's a movie. Come on, let's go see the movie. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, they were great. <laughs> they were great. They did things I was totally unable to do. Sometimes uh, I'd sit at the table, I'd talk to her. She'd have a friend over here. and After 20 minutes, she'd turn to the, I don't know who this is. And the other person would like, that's your son. <laughs> so, those things were a little tough. The memory would, would fade in and out. Towards the end, the staff was essential in, in helping the support from from Shelly and the whole staff. Just unbelievable. It's hard, hard to put into words, but it's great work that they do. Sherry's situation is indicative of forms of assistance that are available through Jewish Senior Outreach. Every situation is different, every client is different, every family is different, but when it came time that she needed a bit of attention. She had a friend in the community that um, knew of Jewish Senior Outreach and knew what we did, and they kind of gave us a bit of a heads up, and then Sherry followed with the phone calls. It, it was a relationship that was built over many years. I'm so glad that I got to know her well. She knew that she could trust and count on us for support and I'm, I'm glad it worked out well that way for her. Whether it's from the ELC all the way, you know, to a full life cycle event, it may even be, you know, death or funeral, but there's always going to be some support and everything that's in between that, hopefully joyous occasions and ceremonies and things, but um, there's, there's going to be a chance that, that the Federation will play a role and there'll be a point at which you will have been impacted and your lives will have been impacted. 
So it's important to, to give and to consider that pledge and to dig deep and, and, and maximize how, how much you can give. We, we've seen the support, uh, we've felt it, and we want it to continue on for many generations too.